typically when we leave the dock here, um, we typically are, it's in, well, you never know because we don't, we don't go on a calendar. We work out of a, off of a tide book. And when it's, uh, when the tide's right, we go, when the weather's right, we go. Uh, a lot of times we'll leave uh, at midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Sometimes we leave in the middle of the day if the weather comes down and we can go fishing. Um, typically, uh, on, a, on a typical day, we've got myself I'm, as the captain, I run the boat, and then I have two crew members on deck that uh, do all the hard stuff. I just sit in the chair and, and, uh, and drive, and uh, they make my life pretty easy. This is my co-pilot. She's with me on every trip. She sits up, her picture sits here, and kind of reminds me of why we're here, what we're doing. Um, we made an agreement my daughter Alina and I did before the season she would help out with uh, some of the gear work and in turn I wrote her name on a buoy so she has her own pot fishing in the ocean we keep track of how many crab are in it and she gets that money goes into a savings account initially it started out that she wanted to buy a four-wheeler with that money and now it sounds like we're saving to go to Disneyland instead but every time I call and I talk to her Usually it's, I love you daddy, and how many crab are in my pot? When we're running gear, everything comes right off of this ComNav jog stick. All I do is I can steer the boat basically with one finger. So, it's kind of hard to believe, but this way uh, I'm not worried about spinning the wheel all day long. I can sit right here, I got a nice mirror, I can see what's going on on the back deck all the time with the guys. Uh, Unfortunately, Super Bowl Sunday, I watched one of my crew members fall off the boat in that mirror. And that right there, I mean, I was able, I watched it happen. We were able to get the boat kicked out of gear, spin it away from him, and get him right back on the boat real easy. Uh, if it hadn't been for the fact that he had on his Mustang inflatable life jacket, you know, who knows what could have happened. He hit the water, popped it, and he was right he, he was right there we were able to grab him and throw him right back on the boat uh, this is probably one of the most dangerous jobs in the world we're not busting ice we're not fishing in Alaska but this is one of the more dangerous jobs you can do and to have somebody fall off the boat and get them back without a scratch is an absolute blessing so uh, for now and forever my guys will always wear an inflatable jacket or some kind of a life jacket on when they're working on deck. Doesn't matter what the weather conditions are, if they want a paycheck, they're gonna wear a PFD.